it has taken to raise awareness of the potential risks to health and well-being of children posed by button batteries. Minister Marie Todd. Button batteries have been involved in truly tragic incidents of childhood injury and death. I was shocked by reports of the harrowing uh, death over Christmas of young Hugh McMahon. My sympathies are with his family, who I understand have close ties with Clare Adamson's constituency. The Scottish Government supports organisations such as the Child Accident Prevention Trust and the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents, which work tirelessly to publicise threats to children's health and wellbeing, including button batteries. We are engaging with them and with other stakeholders to identify what more can be done on this important matter. Claire Adamson. Thank the Minister very much for her um, answer and for her condolences, which I am sure are shared across the, the Parliament today. Um, for my young constituent who died so tragically. Um, the cross-party group on accident prevention and safety awareness is returns to this issue often. Um, within the last two years, we've had presentations on it, and our concern lies with the availability of fake goods online and fake goods in our shops, but also um, uh, to, with the concern that few parents are aware of the risks posed by these. So I wonder if the Minister would undertake to work with the UK governments new um, working group uh, under Paul Scully MP who is engaged in the um, trading standard aspect of this but also work with the CPD to see how we can raise awareness in parents and carers of this potentially fatal health issue. Thank you. Minister. So let me first acknowledge the work done by Claire Adamson and the cross-party group which she convenes to highlight the risks of button batteries. The regulation of product safety is reserved to the UK Government and Ms Adamson is correct that the UK Minister Paul Scully MP recently proposed a working group to progress safety improvement in this area. And this comes against another tragic death last May um, which sadly seemed to foreshadow the death of Hugh McMahon. I can give absolute assurance that the Scottish Government will engage with the UK Working Group. Indeed, our officials have already had positive discussions with counterparts in Mr Scully's department around our eagerness to cooperate and to help drive forward extensive work to tackle the risks. And that eagerness to cooperate naturally extends to the cross-party group and any other partners in accident prevention. Question number three, Alexander Burnett. 